originally was tied by a gentleman called Franz Betters. Uh, I've got his book here. And there he's fly. Now it's a great book to get. So it's, it's one that's a full pan out so you can actually see it. There you go. It's Fly Fishing and Fly Tying, a Pattern's Guide by Franz or Fran Betters. And uh, his famous flies are there, like the haystack and so on. Some really good patterns, certainly worth having. The book's worth having. It's one of the best books I've bought. So, if you come across it, get it into your collection. But anyway, it's a very easy fly to tie, simple fly, very effective fly, using one material, snowshoe rabbit. It's foot. There you go. That's a natural one. It's a pad there. It's a very unique, unique type fibre that it tends to repel snow. It just keeps dry, so obviously I this way it's why he's used it, ideal for dry flies. Uh, I've used these and they seem to just go on forever and ever. Great fly. But as I said, the material can be used in the wing, tail and the body. It's a great dubbin. It's an excellent dubbin. Don't throw away the bits you cut off because you can put in a wee bag and use it later for a dubbin. Good, great in nymphs. The hook I'm going to be using is a Camasan B160 size 14. Now it's actually the shank length, a short shank, it's uh, the shank length is equivalent to a size 16, but the gape is a size 14. To me it suits this style of fly really well. It's one of my favourite hooks when it comes to this style of dry fly anyway. Now I'm using a bright orange uni or fire orange thread. And what I'm going to do here is run the thread down two thirds of the shank. And bring it back up. Put a good layer of thread down for the material. Stop a good two mil from the eye. Now I've cut off already some material from the pad, from the sole of the just at the back, and I'll show you. This area here. Really nice stuff. And you can use from between the toes as well. Depends on the size of fly that you're tying. This size from the from the, the sole of the snowshoe rabbit works fine for me. Anyway, length of the wing is the length of the hook. It's tight fall to the eye. I'm just trying to get the nice shape that I'm looking for in a wing. Just take out some of the guard hairs if they're slightly long. Don't have to be too fussy with it. Sure, tie it forward to the eye, pinch and loop. Make sure you get a few turns in there so it'll not move. And then come in at the back here, trim at an angle. If you trim at an angle, it'll cause a taper, and the taper will help form the shape, the body shape that you're looking for. The carrot shape, and there you go. Just a simple way of cutting. If you cut it straight, you'll have a step, it's useless. That way there, that's encouraging the shape of the body, as you can see. Now, take some of the, some more fur, not as much. Again, this is for the tail. Let's take away some of the guard hairs there and line them up slightly. Again, I like it much the length of the, well, say the shank or the body, the body or the length of the hook. Around any, anywhere between the, is okay. Tail on, just on top. Two or three turns to make sure it's not going to move on you. It's okay. Trim away the waist. As I say, keep that waist there because that there's your dubbing. Just sit on your desk. Let those cut ends from the, the wing have actually sat on the desk and I'll show you how to mix them up. Now, if we do anything else, I would just tidy up slightly. Don't be too fussy on it. Just up and down just to pull in those cut ends. Now here's a material I've cut off from the wing. All you have to do is just blend it between your fingers. And then offer it to your hook, or to your thread, sorry. 
nice double on. Slide it up. I like to get the material a good turn with a turn or so onto the body because that acts as an anchor point. It means then you can tighten up the dubbing as you wind. Just forming a nice shape all the way up to this point here. Now I like to either come through the wing with the dubbing or if you want just simply take some dubbing to the front and build it up. This will post the wing for you, or lift the wing. Just simply doing that. Very easy to do. And then all you have to do then, varnish the thread, I like to put the thread onto the, or the varnish onto the thread, and then whip finish. It's much easier to do that at times than just put varnish on, cover on your material, that's the easiest way to do it. And it's very strong as well. Basically in that shoe, that is it. Great wee fly. Tight in all colours, sizes. Sits high in the water and very visible as well. Great in the streams. And that's Fran Betters. Usual. <laughs>